name is Mark Platten. We're here again in the Garden of the Gods. Uh, it is about 6,000 foot elevation here. We are looking at the conifers here in this particular region. This is known as the Juniperus scopulorum, also known as the Rocky Mountain Juniper. Uh, it also sometimes is known as a, as a cedar, but it really isn't a true cedar here, so we'll go with kind of the Rocky Mountain Juniper or Juniperus scopulorum, which is the scientific name. The evergreen needles of the Rocky Mountain Juniper are scale-like, or needle-like. The flowers are wind-pollinated, producing the cones that resemble the blueberries that are less than 7 millimeters, or about a centimeter in size with uh, fused scales. So you can see those on the trees that we pointed out there. The fruits have been used to make gin, to flavor meats, and Native Americans use them raw, boiled, or ground to make meal for cakes. The twigs start out flat and scaly, but eventually round out with age and the shredded bark is a reddish-brown color. This plant can grow as a shrub or tree and as a slender, elongated branchlets forming an erect shape. In 20 years, the Rocky Mountain junipers can reach heights of up to 25 feet and may eventually reach uh, 30 to 50 feet in the extreme conditions. It is native to our region, but it's important to note that it is not a true juniper. Often it's used as a landscape plant and windbreak. There have been many cultivars developed from this plant and also it can be used to make fence posts and furniture, which you've probably seen in different yards or along the roadsides. This tree is long-lived and tolerates soils with high calcium carbonate levels, but also has low salinity tolerance, but it can tolerate drought quite well. The Rocky Mountain Juniper is a relatively disease-free and insect-free as well, with the exception of the cedar apple blight and two rust species that cause galls. Birds use this plant for cover and eat the berries, it is browsed by other animals such as deer and elk, but can be an issue if they eat too much of it. And we do have a photo of that that you're going to see here of where the deer have actually browsed on it uh, during the colder seasons of winter months where there isn't a lot of food available for them. It is a better source of food for small mammals. In the Rocky Mountain region, it is typically found at elevations between 5,000 up to 9,000 feet in elevation, but as we mentioned, uh, it, that's really pushing its upper extreme limits. Its habitat overlaps with the Utah juniper and the two can hybridize.